हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू तरुण आई एस माई सेल्फ दीक्षिता मिस्त्री उत्तराकाशी टाउन ऑल्सो कॉमनली नोन बाय द नेम ऑफ शिव नगरी बाय ऑल ऑफ अस इज मेजरली अ रिलीजियस एंड स्पिरिचुअल प्लेस व्हिच आल्सो गेट्स मेंशनड इन स्कंद पुराण एज वेल बट इफ यू सी इट जोग्राफिकली देन उत्तराकाशी डिस्ट्रिक्ट इज लोकेटेड ऑन द एक्सट्रीम नॉर्थ वेस्ट साइड ऑफ उत्तराखंड अलॉन्ग द रगेड टेरेन ऑफ हिमालय इट इज लाइंग on the upper himalayas which is having different kind of geographical environment such as valleys hills high peaks snows and glaciers in last few years human activities have also increased in this region leading to sudden increase of disasters in the form of earthquakes avalanches flash floods landslides droughts etc in 2014 ministry of environment and forest also stated that 2013 kedarnath disaster was escalated directly and indirectly by the ongoing and existing hydropower projects it states that human activities along with the geographical condition of the region is leading to such kind of disasters now once again the uttarakhand region is facing a major disaster in the form of silkiara tunnel collapse where 41 person got trapped and eagerly waiting to be evacuated since last 11 days in this video we'll try to understand what happened exactly what are the causes and also probable solution to avoid such kind of disasters but before that please like share and subscribe our channel and also do watch other videos of our channel as well let's start what happened actually in this incident on november 12 a tunnel collapsed which was connecting Yeah, Sil Kiara to Barkot. Now there is a tunnel of length four point five kilometers, and it was about to complete. Only four hundred meter has been left to be completed. And here is Sil Kiara. Here is Barkot. Now this tunnel was sudden collapsed on November twelve. In the Sil Kiara end, around at around two seventy meter. and 41 workers got trapped in the middle of this tunnel within 2 km segment of this tunnel fine this tunnel is being created and being constructed under the char dham project of government now char dham project is a construction of highways network connecting four major dhams that is gangotri yamunotri Kedarnath and Badrinath. These four dams are present in Uttarakhand, and four dam project was connecting was about connecting these four places. This tunnel was the objective of this tunnel was to reduce the distance between Uttarakashi and Yamunotri by twenty six kilometer. Fine. so that is all about incident let's also understand about the causes of the incident causes behind the incident this is the real image of the silkiara tunnel this is the entry point of silkiara where from where the pipeline has been inserted which is reaching towards the trapped laborers and from where the help is being given to those workers and this is a big mountain under which this tunnel is being created now you can see the collapse of this mountain on this tunnel have led to such kind of huge disaster okay let's move on quickly to a to the causes first cause is main central thrust the presence of mct over north of tunnel mct is present very near to this tunnel and basically what is mct mct is the region this region the himalayan region mct is a region where indian plate is going under being pushed under eurasian plate and that's how the volcanic and the seismic activities are being uh, created and built here this area is very volatile in nature and continuous uh, seismic activities are running in this area which makes this area very weak spot of disasters and other kind of uh you know incidents second region is sedimentary rocks himalayas is being made of sedimentary rock which is porous in nature which develops cracks very quickly and that's what make the rocks volatile to pressure 
and seismic activity and that they get broken very easily. Second is presence of water seepage. Uttarakhand region have perennial streams and glaciers which is causing continuous seepage of water over these mountain areas making loose soils and you know uh, making the bonds between soils very weak leading to landslides and avalanches kind of conditions. That is the third region. Fourth region is lack of geological studies. After the disaster, geologists have told the media that there is not proper study of geological facts and data and if it would have been you know read properly by the geologist then such kind of disaster could be avoided. So geological studies such as seismic radiation studies such as P wave, S wave they from where they are um, traveling from which region they are going and that's how we can find out the weak spot in any region any area and we can avoid constructing major project infrastructure projects in that area. S wave and P waves are the uh, waves which are generated when some kind of earthquake is occurred in any region and these waves travels around earth surface okay what are the solutions we understood the major regions solution could be efficient evacuation of the workers so a strategy needs to be built second is strong equipments and Support system for tunnel needs to be checked regularly because the support system was very weak on uh, falling of mud or rock over the mountain and tunnel, the tunnel collapsed and workers got trapped. So we need strong support system for those kind of heavy projects. Third is proper study of geological facts. Now geological facts needs to be taken very seriously because these are the facts upon which the projects are being built, the projects are based. If we ignore these geological facts and data, then such kind of disasters can happen anytime in our country because Himalayan region is very volatile, Northeast region is very volatile. So, we need to take consider these geological facts very, very seriously. Okay. So, we understood the causes, we also understood the probable solutions that can be taken for avoiding such kind of situation. Okay, so that's it for today. We just end our video. What we understood? We understood that we need a very good and efficient strategy for these kind of disasters so that such kind of situation can be avoided in the future. We understood the causes as well as the solution and then we can form a very good strategy for a tunnel collapse or any kind of uh, disaster in infrastructure construction project. Okay, thank you so much.